Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Anderson. You've probably seen some of my posts here before, but this is the first time I've done a video for this group, and I'm pretty excited about it. So, what I want to talk about here is I've seen a lot of people with a little bit of confusion about getting an Amazon business account, and I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a walkthrough here. I'm going to sign up for an Amazon business account, and then once I sign up for it, I'm going to show you guys my usual Amazon business account and show you some really cool features of Amazon business accounts. Um, so an Amazon business account is separate from your seller account and what it's designed for is for you to be able to get free shipping um, and a few other benefits that are really cool like some really good reporting on your purchases and order verification. I'll show all those later. Uh, but what you can do with it is you can get free two-day shipping with orders over $50 without using Prime which will allow you to get the benefit of the inexpensive or actually free shipping and the fast shipping without having a Prime account. And why that's important is if you use Prime shipping on an Amazon account and then you sell the item back on Amazon, it's against the terms of service and a lot of people have gotten suspended over this. So I'm going to show you a real quick and painless and free way to get an Amazon business account and once you get that set up, You'll be able to purchase from Amazon.com and then sell back on Amazon.com and hopefully make a lot of money doing that because that's how I'm making a lot of money right now and it's working really well. I'm really excited and I hope everybody can get this opportunity. Hey, so this is the Amazon homepage for business. Um, you can see here we have some options that will give you some more um, details here on the Amazon account that I'm probably not going to go into because this business or this uh, video is kind of just a quick overview of this whole process. But I forgot to mention you can actually get your tax exempt added and no longer have to pay sales tax as long as you are intending to resell the items you're purchasing, which can in some states save you like 9%, which is really awesome. So what we want to do here is uh, after we go to Amazon.com backslash business, Okay, and we want to sign out of our Amazon account. So you see I'm not logged into my Amazon accounts here. Okay, it's just like I'm a first time Amazon user, which is a really weird feeling. So we click create free account. We click create an account for this business. We put in our name, Chris Anderson, put in an email. What we want to do is sign up with a dummy email address. So this would be an email address Ideally, we only really use for this account, and that will be apparent why we want to do that later. We put in a password. Um, Superhero Sellers, which is my blog, gmail.com, password. Okay, and we click create account. Now, at this point, this is no different really than signing up for any other website. Uh, you just put in the information, your address, all that stuff. Uh, it'll ask you for a credit card to verify the account, all that stuff. It's nothing too special. Um, the seller account or the, um, the seller ID number that they ask you is going to be the um, tax ID for your state. Uh, this can actually be the same tax ID as your regular seller account, which is like the FBA account you have. You can use the same tax ID numbers. That's perfectly fine. But this just has to be a separate account. So it's really important to use a different email address, but the tax ID numbers can be the same. So that's really easy. And I'm just going to fill some of this stuff out and uh, I'm probably going to end up blacking most of it out. But uh, yeah, just watch as I do this. And at this point, we're just putting in some contact information for ourselves. This is all pretty standard boilerplate stuff, nothing too special.
Now, I'm not going to put my credit card in at this point, um, but if you just hit save and continue, it'll ask you for a little bit more information. Again, this isn't anything special or any different than any other website you're going to sign up for. And then once you do this, it's going to say that they need to verify your account. And that can take about 72 hours. For me, it was about a day. And then I got the email from them. And what they were looking for was they were looking for letterhead for my business. Now, I've been in business for about 10 years and I've never had letterhead. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to get free and easy letterhead for your business. So to get the free letterhead, all I have to do here is I have to go to vistaprint.com. You can Google Vistaprint and get to their website. Um, all we need to do is we need to go here to business cards. Um, it, it really does not matter at this point um, what we want. Let's do browser designs. This is so non-important. Um, this will look good. Okay, all we have to do is we have to make a quick business card. Um, superhero sellers, um, company message, uh, and Amazon seller. My full name, Anderson. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna fill in the real information here because it's not really important, but put your real information in. Um, this has to verify with the um, with the information that they have. Okay, and then we would put our phone number in. Um, okay, so now we got that. Um, now, what they'll want you to do if you want to save this is you're going to have to sign up for an account and all that stuff. That's such a pain in the butt. But here's an easier way to do. On your computer uh, keyboard, you'll see that there's a button for print screen. Um, just hit print screen. Okay, so now we've printed the screen. We're going to come over here to, um, actually we want paint. We open this up in paint. We paste it into paint. Um, of course, I'm using Windows, so uh, let's just make it a little bit smaller than the safety line here. I don't want it to show up um, just like that. Now, once we do that, if we hit crop, we now have a business card. That's letterhead, and that will work. Um, what we do is we do save as. Let's save it as a JPEG. That'll give us nice resolution. We'll save it right on our desktop. Save it as letterhead. You can save it as whatever you want. That's not important. Hit save. And then when they want you to verify the letterhead for your business, all you have to do is send them back that, and that'll work, and you'll be approved for your Amazon business account, which is pretty awesome.